This is Dabu7. We have some updated information here in regards to the 3i Atlas. Is this thing really a comet is the question. We have scientists all over the world giving their thoughts on this and new data is now in. Especially the images from the James Webb Telescope. They're showing that this thing is not off-gassing like a comet normally does. And if you, can, if you can't tell from the images here, there is no tail on this alleged comet. Now, the information they have put out there already was that they believe that this has some sort of internal light source that's giving off this light. They say that it would have to be over 12 miles long if it was reflecting light. And now, they've used some of their instruments to see exactly what it's off-gassing. And oddly, it's off-gassing a large amount of carbon and not a lot of water and other elements which they expected to see. Water and ice is usually what makes this fuzzy coma around a comet. And then the whole thing's lit up symmetrical with the smaller particles being pushed out the backside, which form the tail. As it gets closer to the sun, it forms an ionized tail. It can have what they call a double tail. But this is missing one. And it's moving faster than anything they've ever seen coming into our area. Now, the path of this has really caught the eye of a lot of people. It follows a retrograde orbit aligned within five degrees of the ecliptic plane. Super unnatural. Has a 0 .005 chance of being natural. And it's coming in, passing close to Venus at 0.65 AU. Mars at 0.19 AU. And Jupiter at 0.36 AU. The probability of this is off the charts. They say there's no way that something drops down into the ecliptic plane natural and is on a course like this that's going to skim and barely miss all these planets out of nowhere. Then they release information on Oumuamua stating that indeed this thing was not a comet neither. It was an interstellar object as they're dubbing and it picked up speed as it took off out of here. Now they say that when a Muamua took off and picked up the speed, its expected trajectory did not match what they observed. This shows that there was something off about it, and it was long, cylindrical, metallic in nature, and seems to have been intelligently controlled. Now remember, a Muamua stands for scout, and you send a scout out ahead of the larger military crew, now, all of a sudden, we have this larger object coming in, of which we've never seen anything like it. And they do say that this carbon skin around it is pretty much hiding what's in the nucleus. Almost like it's being cloaked to a degree. And the artificial light that they cannot explain also makes this thing stand out big time. So the new images and the new data pointing at this. This is a Manhattan-sized object heading this way, 130,000 miles an hour, and the path that it takes through the inner solar system is peculiar. How it passes these planets almost in a, as if you're going to drop in to observe it type of manner. You can see right here, as everything goes into motion, you have this drop in, and it's going to come very, very close here to the sun. This is a Muamua. You can see as it comes out the other side, right there is where it picked up speed. So both objects, very interesting, and they're still releasing data on this, but curiously, NASA and other big space agencies that gathered all this imagery, they waited some time before they even put it out. Is this going to be the new norm? Can't wait till it gets closer so everyday people can start to lock on to this thing and see it for what it is. So they're also saying that the coma around this whole thing is half the size of the sun. So if it came around the sun and it started to actually outgas water or any ice that was in it, if it was a comet, it could explode to as bright as the sun. Of course, it's going to be hiding behind the sun when it gets close enough for us to view it. All these things very odd indeed. And this is some of the latest 
I'll leave links here. Join me for the live streams where I talk about this in greater detail going live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern. Right here on Dabu 7. Much love.